Okay, this is the second video on examples about probabilities. Okay, easy questions first. Two cards are dealt, so what is the probability of getting two aces? That is not so hard. There's a couple of ways that I can show you how to do this. We have to um, deal two cards. What is the probability that the first card is an ace? Well, we have 52 cards uh, in a deck. And how many aces do we have? We have four aces. Now, once we dealt the first card, what is the probability that the next card is also going to be an ace? Now, we don't have 52 cards anymore. We only have 51. And we don't have four aces anymore because the first card was an ace. So we have three aces. And... Um, Okay, think for a second what this is. Uh, this is the probability um, of getting, let me call this A's, A's, okay. And uh, event A, event A is uh, getting, well, let me call this event B. Event B is getting an ace on the first draw. Okay, so this, this would be the probability of B. Okay, and um, we are going to call event A getting an ace on the second draw. So what is this? This is the probability of event A, which is getting an ace on the second draw, knowing that we got an ace on the first draw, knowing that B already happened. Now you probably remember, hopefully, from previous videos, the probability of A intersection, the probability of A given B is the probability of A intersection B divided by the probability of B. We saw that in a video about conditional probabilities. And that means that the probability of A intersection B, this is going to be the product of these two numbers, right? It's going to be the probability of B times the probability of A given B. So the probability that both events, A and B, will happen, this is the probability that both of them will happen. The probability that both of them will happen is the probability of B, which is this number, multiplied by the probability of that. So we have to multiply those two numbers, which will give you 1 over 221 after you simplify the fraction when you multiply it. And that is approximately 0 0.0045. Okay, that was not too bad. So a question that is a little bit more difficult would be this. Once we know this, again, two cards are dealt. But now the question is, what is the probability of getting two of a kind? We know now the probability of getting two aces. What would be the probability of getting two ones? Exactly the same thing, right? So the probability of getting <coughs> two aces, two aces is equal to the probability of getting two ones and equal to the probability of getting two twos, etc., up to the probability of getting two kings. All right, so what is the probability of getting two of a kind? 
Okay. The probability of getting two aces is 1 over 21. And this is also 1 over 21. And this is also 1 over 21. And we have 13 um, cards in a suit. So the probability of getting two of a kind would be this probability plus this probability, which is the same, and, and so on, which is the same thing as taking 1 over 21 over, or 1 over 221 and multiplying it by 13, which is 13 over 221. I said at the beginning of this video that I could show you a couple of ways of doing this, and then I forgot to show you a second way. So let me do it now. Okay. The second way of doing number one, problem number one, so let me call this one again. Um, another way is like this. How many possible pairs of cards are there without paying attention to whether they are aces or not? Well, how many cards do we have in the deck of cards? We have 52 cards. So, and we want two only. So how many pairs of cards are possible from 52? Combinations of 52 taken two at a time. 52, 52 choose two which is 1,326, and that is the number of elements in the sample space, right? That is the number of pairs of cards without paying any attention to what cards are, are they. The other question is how many possible pairs of aces are there? Well, we have to choose two aces from the four possible aces in the deck. And order doesn't matter because I don't care in which order I get them. I just want a pair of aces. So the number of ways of doing this, since order doesn't matter, has to be with combinations. And that would be combinations of four taken two at a time. And that gives you six. This is the number of possible pairs without paying attention to whether they are aces or not. So this is the number of elements in the sample space. And this is the number of possible pairs of aces. So this is the number of elements in the event that we are considering, which is getting a pair of aces. So the probability of A that event of getting a pair of aces will be the number of elements in A divided by the number of elements in the sample space. So that would be 6 over 1326, and that is going to give you the same number that we got before, 1 over 221. When you simplify this fraction, you're going to get 1 over 221. So that is a second way of doing the same thing we did before. Notice that we can also do this problem number two, but doing it this way, the way that we did this, okay? Um, if we do problem number two again, the number of elements in the sample space is still the same. 1326, the same number of elements that we had in here because we have 1,326 possible pairs with 52 cards. The question is how many elements do we have in in this set A, which is made up of all the possible pairs, not pairs of aces, pairs. Okay, so mm, we have 13 cards in each suit, okay? And in order to get a pair, we have to choose these two, from this 13. From 13 possible uh, cards, A's, 1, 2, 3, up to K, we want to choose a pair, right? So um, that would be combinations of 13 taken two at a time. And that gives you 78. So what is the probability of A, the probability of getting um, a pair would be the number of elements in A 
divided by the number of elements in the sample space, and that is 78 divided by 1,326, and that gives you again <clears throat> 13 over 221 when you simplify this fraction, you're going to get this same number. Okay.